Hello everybody, it's me Nosey, and I'm back again for another video, and this is my non-bot Q&A. Cue the credits. Everybody that actually did participate in my YouTube, Facebook group post thing saying I'm doing a non-bot Q&A, question Q&A, uh, I just want to say a big thank you to those who participated and your questions were literally probably either legendary or some of the most interesting things you could ever ask another human being. Uh, <laughs> uh, only in a small, well I'll say small, ever growing community of Transformers geeks. Um, right anyway, without further ado, let's get on to it shall we? Okay, welcome back. I'm now looking at my laptop and I've got... Well, quite a bit. I'm not sure whether I should part, put this into two separate parts. I see a few people have actually done that themselves. So, first of, first and foremost, my good friend Tony, Sound of SG1. First, Bish Bash Boom, question. Cake or death? That's what Tony asks. Cake or death? Cake? It has to be cake. Who wishes to die? Not many. <laughs> so I'd say, cake all the way. Unless he was meaning something else. Knowing how scheming Tony is, that's pro probably just stepped into something there. Without even knowing it. Oh well. Anyway, so moving on. John Hughes. Who would you rather sleep with, Stuart or Dave? Hmm... You see, I'm having to really think about this. I don't usually think about things like that. <laughs> um, right, okay. If I had to really think about it, Stuart, the big lug. Yeah, Stuart all the way, dude. Ah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. My reputation on YouTube is now going to go. Alright, so, uh, Christopher Perry. Uh, I know that you went mentioned a few questions on here, but I'm just going to do it in order as on here. So, it's going to be a bit like that. Uh, anyway, so, Christopher Perry. Uh, what's your darkest hour and how will you light it? What is your darkest hour? What the hell? Um, I think my most darkest of hours would be probably like probably about a year or so back when I did some stupid little videos that really started to give me a bit of scrutiny but that probably was, was my darkest hour and how I lighted that was learning from my mistakes and moving on and trying to make videos that will not offend and upset people because I, I don't I try not to be that type of person but yeah so I lighted my darkest hour by learning from my mistakes and trying to just become a better person um, Steve Thomas, yeah dude, right, Steve Thomas, so where do you like it, face, chest or mouth? So where do you like it, <laughs> face, chest or mouth? Face. <laughs> okay, no. Face. <laughs> right, Dave Shotton. Dave Shotton. Uh, what's what colour socks are you wearing? I am currently wearing, if you can see, these sexy numbers. Oh yes. <laughs> um, again, Dave Shotton. Uh, what's your favourite R. Kelly song? R. Kelly song. I would have to say, I think it was this was R. Kelly. Um, it is was R. Kelly. It would have to be the song for Space Jam. Moving on, again, Christopher Perry. This is another one from you. When you wake up in the morning, what is your usual first rational thought? Well, I'm not much of a I'm not much of a morning person. Never have been, and probably will never will be. So when I first wake up in the morning, it's usually 
uh, I gotta go to work. <laughs> usually. Um, but no, uh, usually my first thought would be breakfast, bacon, food, usually. So, moving on again, so thank you again. Um, this is Jarrard, Wolfgang 1. Now, what is this incriminating thing going to be? I don't know. <laughs> if I know Jared very well, which I think I do. Right, so he asked Wolfgang Wen, uh, have you ever thought what a wonderful place the world is? And then just being completely temp tempted to run off and join a cult. cult. <laughs> uh, yeah, I definitely thought something like that would come from him. <laughs> um, yes, I always have thought how beautiful the world is. I am I do love nature, I love anything to do with animals. I do watch documentaries, uh, a lot of, a lot like wildlife stuff like David Attenborough stuff and things like that. But the cult thing, I would never join a cult. Um, right, moving on. Stuart Blythe, my good him look. Hey Stuart. Hey Stuart. Uh Stuart, right. If you had if you had to, would you rather go ice diving for gold or work a session on a crab boat in a in the Bering Sea? Uh, I would definitely say I would probably go ice diving for gold. Uh, right, Dave Shorter. Yeah, Dave Shorter. Uh, have you ever been to the deep? If so, what was your favourite fish? Yes, I have been to the deep. I've been a few times. If you don't know what the deep is, people, it's um, the large, massive aquarium that we have in Hull. And it is very, 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 very famous because it's literally number nine on the most famous and most fantastic aquariums on the in the world. And I'm not joking, it has been voted that. I've been a few times and it's a fantastic aquarium. They've, they've acquired some different things as of I think last year and I think this year. Um they're apparently they're putting in a new a new area for something else they want to bring in maybe next year. Um but yeah um I've been a few times but my favourite fish I think I would have to say I don't know what would I have to say I can't remember. I honestly, it's been a while since I've been. It's been almost, probably been two years since the last time I went to the deep. I think it was interesting. I think it was in the, the deep. Where they show, like, the life size, like, the bow structure or, the, or some fossils or something of some, like, prehistoric, like, prehistoric animals, uh, fish, and stuff that was back that period. I, I don't know if they were actual fossils or if they were just, like, plaster cast. But um, that was pretty cool to see, just like a wall of fossils. I think I think that was in the deep. Uh, I think it is. Right, moving on. Uh, right, again, Christopher Perry. Um, what is the circum? Uh, well, what is the circumference of your largest digit in millimeters? No idea. I've never heard of circumference. Circumference. I've never heard of circumference, so I can't answer that question. You are indeed probably a much smarter individual than me, or than I, should I say, because I've never heard of that word, and I do not understand millimetres, centimetres, well, I understand centimetres, but uh, let's just say that kind of math <whistles> goes over my head. <laughs> uh, Dave Shorter, I visited Hull in October 2012. Did you notice a difference in, le in uh, d difference to the level of optimism in the city during that time? Well, to be honest with you, I do not remember that far back. 2012, right. Well, I can't see anything really majorly went wrong, so I suppose there was a bit more optimism. <laughs> uh, there's nothing really major, nothing happened in 2012. Um, well, nothing really major does happen in Hull these days, to be quite frank with you. Um, it's great that I've been voted uh, for 2017, you know, the whole 
city of culture thing, but nah. But yeah, I've, uh, I can't really uh, report on anything really bad happening. So I think the optimism was a little bit higher when you visited. <laughs> um, right again, Dave Shorter. Honestly, I've got duplicated answers from about four people. Um, right, Dave Shorter again. Would you like to see Sh Shako Slavia? Shako Slavia, whatever. Uh, unfiled as one country again, or do you prefer having Czech Republic and Slovakia? Same question about Yugoslavia. I don't know. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know what you're trying to get at with that with that question because I don't really. I, I tend to try not to really look into other countries because, as we all know on the news, um, I try not to really look in too far in some countries. I, I try not to completely bury myself away from the the whole world's affairs. I do know a little bit of what's been going on lately, but with, with your question saying about Czech Republic and Slovakia, should they become, should they be unfiled as one country again? Um, or do you prefer having Czech Republic and Slovakia? To be honest with you, I don't know. I really don't know how I can answer that. Again, Christopher Perry. Who is the greatest person in your life besides me, of course? Of course. <laughs> Uh, greatest person in my life? Well, who do you think would be my greatest person in my life? It would have to be my parents, wasn't it? You know, they're, they're the greatest peoples in my life. You know, they brought me into this world. They raised me to be, hopefully, a, um, a, pe a person that is able to look after himself. Um, also, that maybe, hopefully, be a nice person who thinks of others and treats people other people with dignity and respect that they deserve. Uh, Dave Shotton again. Dave Shotton. I've got two people, both called Dave. One called Shorter, one called Sh uh, Shotton. So I do apologize if people get a bit confused with names. All right, Dave Shotton. If you had to spend 24 hours with an animal sticky, sticky taped to your face, what animal would it be and why? I would have to say it would have to be a puppy or something like that, something really fairy, like a cat or something. Because really, if you think about it, if it was like stuck back end, like on the back of it, onto your face like that, and you're walking around, it wouldn't be that bad, would it? Because it'd be nice and warm, and you know, you can stroke it when you when you're stressed, you know. Uh, <laughs> I'd say something like a cat or a dog or something. That sounds really horrible, but um, I'm just thinking about something that's got really lovely things. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, moving on. All right. Hey, someone new. <laughs> Finally. All right. Dan Bernstein. Uh, is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Also, me tomato or tomato. Ah, uh, now you're getting at now. Alright. Alright, so Dan Bernstein, um, is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? I'm trying to think this because I've actually been told that about what a tomato is. And I'm trying to not get. I'm pretty damn sure a tomato. Um, think is it considered a fruit and like you said I pronounce it tomato tomato not tomato tomato same as potato American this other one goes tomato potato that's America but Britain how it's properly pronounced is tomato and potato and then a new person Ben Watson, Ben Watson, what kind of condiment team up, condiment team up, would you deem utterly unacceptable? Condiment. 
I'm honestly, I'm, I don't think I'm very smart compared to some people because some words are coming out in this Q&A and I do not understand what the fucking hell condiment means um, and other stuff, but uh, right. How to say an utterly unacceptable team up, um, just saying utterly unacceptable team up would be probably dictators, some of the most, the world's notorious dictators in this world that are currently alive, such as like Al-Assad. Um, you know him and Putin, Putin and uh, well, I'm, I'm saying him as one of those because essentially what he's doing, what he's doing in his own country again, essentially being a dictator, um, because essentially he's going down that road with what's going on. So I'd say if say if something happened where Putin and uh, say Al Assad, President Al Assad, and say who else? Dictator, I don't know. Just saying, if those two people, if they seem to come together, this world would probably be fucked. So I'd say that would be deemed unacceptable of a team up of that perspective. Um, Sammy, school going on for her. How you doing, bud? Um, right, Sammy, have you ever walked out on a movie before that was considered unwatchable or bad? Unfortunately, I've never walked out of any film because with me, it's a personal thing. I've paid to watch it, even though it's pained me, some films. Um, it's been very painful um, to watch some of them. But I would have to say I've never actually walked out of the theatre because, well, I want to get my money's worth. I know that sounds a bit stupid, but you, you pay almost nearly £10 for a film these days, depending on where you live. Prices do dictate. Um, so if you live in London, you probably pay more because obviously the whole prices are much more higher. Um, but like in Hull, we're, look back, we're roughly about seven or eight pound for a standard for a three D. You're not nearly ten pound for a film. Um, so I'd say pay nearly ten pound to go and see a film, and I just want to walk out on it. I've you know I've been a bit pissed off at myself because I just wasted ten quid. Um, that's that's just me. Um, but yeah, uh, no. But the the most. Boring and shit film I probably have ever seen at cinema would have to be the Paranormal Activity movie. I've only seen the one. I'm pretty damn sure I've only seen the first one. Yeah, the first one at cinema. I went with Sam, which was a Firestorm. And we walked, we, we went in there and I was like... Just staring at it. Uncontrollable yawn of boredom come over me nothing was happening just a twat with a fucking camera look at me you're awesome look at my camera yeah and then some silly woman thought all you said was turn off the camera <laughs> you're angry in the spirit <laughs> yeah um but yeah <laughs> awful film uh, moving on again Christopher Perry what a surprise uh what is the best pet you ever had? Well, the best pets I've ever had, I've had a rabbit. In the past, I've had rabbit. I've, I've had rabbit. That sounds wrong. I've had a rabbit. That sounds like I've eaten it. Um, <laughs> no, I've had a pet rabbit. I had two guinea pigs in the past. I've had cats, three cats in the past. Well, I've got I've currently got two. The fat, the other one I've had died about. Well, got put down, unfortunately. Um, and I've had budgies as well. And I've had hamsters. So I'd say the most memorable pet I've ever had would be... There was a budgie. And it's a very depressing subject. We had a budgie. And the reason why it's more memorable is the way it died. Now, that sounds really horrible. But... Um, yeah, the, the, the thing apparently it injured itself by falling off a pet off its perch, but we we kind of didn't think. It, sorry, keep moving the camera. It seems no. Um, I felt a bit, you know, it fell off its perch apparently, and when I went to school one day, it basically. Um, well, apparently, my mum said it was. It seemed okay, and then apparently the it injured itself quite badly. You know, it was unable to really do much and. One day I went up to my room and I could hear this like, 
Mwah. like a not like a normal chip for a, for a budgie. It was like a Mwah. Mwah. like that. And I thought, what's wrong with that? That's not normal. And uh, I went up. The poor thing's on the the on its cage. It's on the floor, and it's it's staring right at me. And this was very quite strange. It's always stayed with me the way this poor thing died. And the poor thing was staring at me. And I shit you not, it actually tried to reach out to me. And people will probably be like, seriously, it's a budgie. But I'm not joking. This budgie was, from what I took from it, and I was still pretty young, I was only at school. Um, and what I took from that was that this poor budgie was trying to reach out for me for help. I mean, it was actually, it actually reached out its, its wing at me. Its wing, it, it just it reached out its wing at me. I was just like, that was just weird. And it's always stayed with me, that. Um, doo -doo -doo. There we go. Tony is back. Tony, sound of SG1. Right, so Tony, Justin Bieber, really? Or Rebecca Black? They're both diabolical. Both produced the most shittest music on the on the face of the earth, and but I, if I, but I'd have to say Rebecca Black. They're both awful. They're just as bad. They're just the music they produce is as shit as each other's, but Rebecca Black is a much nicer person, so compared to Justin Bieber. Uh, Christopher Perry again. Look at the L. Uh, have you ever had the pot noodle horn? If so, under what circumstances? What do you mean by pot noodle horn? Do you mean the hunger for a pot noodle or something? I don't know how to say that. But anyway, so I love pot noodles. Who doesn't? Pot noodles are awesome. All you do is you put, put you hot water to them and it's an instant snack. It's awesome. Ben's Collectibles. Hello. Uh, right. Do you feel it's your birthright to drink Boddington's? No, it isn't my birthright at all because I drink anything. I'm one of these drinkers that will literally try anything. Um, Dave Shorter, hello again. This The next three are from Dave Shorter. Okay. Right, what's your favourite Transformers? I know I can't ask about bots. So it's this context. I'm interested in the electrical kind. What do you mean? Uh, what's your favourite Transformers? I know I can't ask about bots. So this, in this context, I'm interested in the elect. Oh, for me, I get your point. Transformers as electrical kind, yes. Finally gone in the head. Well, they're, they're useful. We kind of need Transformers when it comes to electricity. So, good. Right, again Dave Shorter. Is it true that the only episode of Only Fools and Horses allowed to be replayed in Hull is to Hull and back? If not, why not? And if you ever became MP for or Mayor of Hull, Mayor of Hull, will you insist this becomes law? Well, I can't really. I mean, that's kind of a lot of crap. I mean, uh, I've seen to Hull and back Hull and Fools and Horses, and it's a great episode. Brilliant episode. Only Fools and Horses as a whole, that series is fantastic. It's it's a British icon of comedy. It's fantastic. Um, other people will probably think otherwise, but I really like Only Fools and Horses. I was raised on that kind of comedy because my mum and dad used to watch it. Um, but I don't know about that. I don't know about only for, about the to Hull and back is the only episode that is allowed to be replayed in Hull. Um, I mean, we've got. I don't know. I mean, BBC whenever they've actually put Only Fools and Horses on, 
BBC in our region at our programming and they all play any episodes so I would say no that that isn't the truth that isn't the case um, but if I was MP or whatever well no I wouldn't change it because the whole series as a whole is fantastic just because one of them has Hull in it it's a great episode um, well actually it's more like a movie type I think it's about an hour an hour long isn't it I think um, but yeah it's uh, it's a great episode but I wouldn't become MP or Mayor of Hull and insist that it becomes law that that's the only episode that should get replayed uh, Dave Shorter again would you be interested in seeing a movie adaptation of the shipping forecast? Shipping forecast? No, not really. Uh, I mean, I do like movies that are natural disasters, you know, like natural disaster movies, like when it comes to weather, like... I mean, there's one out at the moment. I don't know what what it's like, but there's a film called it's just come out called Into the Storm. I want to see that mainly because it's tornadoes, and I love that kind of extreme weather. Um, but about just a film, just about forecast uh, shipping forecast. I was like, I'd be like, no. And last but not least, Carl Chegwin, God Pikachu, or whatever you want to call him. Uh, have you ever put an object into your anus for sexual pleasure? Yeah, no fucking surprise something like this would come from him. Uh, <laughs> no, I haven't. Why would I? <laughs> I don't know. I just never would do anything stupid like that. Um, because... No, in my ass, it'll probably get lost in there, and you know, it's just it's just like a fucking black hole of death, my ass. Tell you know, and that's it, people. That is every question. Yes, I've had multiples from Dave Shorter, um, Christopher Perry. Uh, who else has done duplicates? Dave Shotton. But yes, fantastic. Really strange questions to answer to make, uh, to try and make me answer. There was a few there that I was unable to really answer properly, but yeah. But anyway, so it was fun. It was awesome to do something non Transformers wise. That was fantastic. Um, a great idea to to Dave SMS number one or Smith. No, that was a fantastic idea you came up with because obviously it's caused nearly everybody to do their own. Um, so yes, thanks again. It's been awesome. Peace. See you later. I'll be back more with more videos. Bye-bye.